All right, guys, today I have a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be featuring a different channel um, on here. So if you want to get directly to the actual trick, you can click here. This way you guys aren't going to be bored with whatever I'm going to be saying. Um, but for those of you who kind of want a little more insight on YouTube um, and getting noticed and all that kind of stuff, you might want to stick around. So what I want to start doing here is I've noticed that a lot of you guys in the comments, I'll go through and I'll actually click on your channel to see what kind of content you guys have. And for the most part, it's pretty decent. Um, and I feel bad that a lot of you aren't really getting the exposure that I feel you guys might deserve. So if you feel um, like you deserve to be checked out, make sure to email me. Um, click in the About tab and email me some videos. I'll go through my best, uh, to the best of my abilities and try to pick someone who I feel like deserves to be um, you know, exposed here on my channel. This way they can get some more viewers and some more subscribers. So uh, the whole thing here is I want you guys to watch this guy's videos. Uh, or this video that I'm going to be showing you here, it's really good. Um, honestly, I think he's a little bit better than I am. So make sure to watch this entire video. Uh, go through, click on his channel. Um, and anyways, guys, here is the actual video. Alright, guys. So uh, a big thank you goes out to Hester's channel for uh, allowing me to uh, collab with him, essentially. So I really hope you guys uh, take something out of this neat little um card trick i have today and uh, it's pretty unique i'm sure you guys haven't seen something exactly like this but i mean maybe you have uh but it's really cool and uh just really special and i just want to share it with you so uh thanks again to hester channel and uh, go ahead and check out my channel nubs magic because i do have uh similar content to uh hester's channel um in the sense uh, performances and tutorials of card tricks and I also have flourish tutorials and uh, some more card slide tutorials so uh, go ahead and check out my channel it'll be in the uh, description below and uh, without further ado let's get into the performance for uh, this trick all right so for this trick I need a small packet of cards I'll show you that these cards have are alternating uh, red black red black Red black, red black, red black, red black, red black, all the way throughout, you get the idea. Um, what we're going to do here is sort of like an uh, observation test, okay? So uh, we're going to take a look at the two bottom cards. We have the uh, Queen of Spades and we have uh, the Two of Hearts, all right? Queen of Spades and the Two of Hearts. The Queen of Spades is a black card, so I just want you to tell me which one out of these two top cards um are black now this is a practice round so uh, the spectator is just going to go ahead and guess which one of these two are black let's say they think this one is black in this case they would be right all right because it is a black card and the other card is a red card we'll put the excess card so the indifferent card on the bottom of the deck and we'll put the actual correct card the black card right there um in its column now we're going to do it for real as the first time was a practice round as I said so which one of these two cards do you think is red this is what I'd be asking the spectator let's say they think this card is red we're not gonna take a look at it we're just gonna place it down and the other card goes on the bottom once again which one do you think is black let's say they think this one is black put this on the bottom which one do you think is red this one all right think is black let's say they think this one which one do you think is red this one all right which one do you think is black? Are you mix it up? Let's say they think this one. And the last one, which one do you think is red? Let's say they think this one. Put this one on the bottom. Once again, I'm going to show you that the cards have been alternating since the very beginning of the trick, all right? They have been alternating in red-black order all the way throughout, all right? Now we're going to take a look at uh, your uh, selections, all right? So we have two columns, black, red. Let's take a look at the black cards first. Hopefully you should have one, two, three, and all four black cards to be in the black pile. And in the red pile, that only means we have the one, two, three, and four red cards to be united as well. And uh, that is uh, the trick. Let's get right in to the tutorial. All right, so grab a deck of cards and we'll get started here so what you're gonna need are uh, eight black cards they can be any any black cards I just shuffled the deck and got eight black cards 
that I came to. And then in the uh, red cards, you need nine red cards. Okay, so this is a simple setup, um, and it's not very difficult to remember. I'll put it in uh, simple terms for you guys. So you're just going to take two black cards, place them down. You're going to take two red cards, place them down. Two black cards, place them down. Two red cards. Two black cards. Two red cards. And two black cards, just like that. Alright, now you need two more red cards. And you're set. Now you have one extra red card, and this red card is going to go on the top of the deck to give the illusion that the cards are alternating, when in fact, it's not alternating uh, at all, alright? Just like that, alright? So you can go ahead, pause the video here, and you know, uh, do this setup. So once again, one red card, two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, two red cards two black cards and two red cards again so you have just two or sorry four black pairs one pair two pair three pair four pair and then four uh, red card pairs so one pair two pair three pair four pair and then just one random red card on the top all right once you have this you're ready to uh, begin the trick and uh, there are really no slights involved in this so uh, this is a beginner level trick so uh, once you have this set up you're ready to begin with the actual handling of the trick. Alright, so when you begin the trick, you have your setup, your 17 card setup. And um, what you're going to do is show the top two cards, red, black, place them down, push out the top two cards again, show them red, black. And they may be alternating like this, red, black, and when you show the next one, it's red, black here, sorry, red here, and then black here, but no one's really going to notice. So, on red, black, to show them, make sure the spectator sees this clearly. Red, black, red, black. And when you get to the last three cards, you have two options. You can either put all three cards down and say you get the idea, or you can uh, not do that, and you can push over the top card while keeping these two cards in a sort of block and just flash them like that. Alright, so you have three cards left. You push over the top card, you keep these two cards square right here, just like that. You show these two and say red, black. Put this on top and drop the pack. I usually just do, you get the idea and show all three cards. Uh, no one's really called me out on that, so uh, there's no need to worry there. And this is what I did in the performance as well. I just said, you get the idea and I put them on top. So it's up to you what you want to do, but um, yeah, so you're just going to put them on top, square the cards up. You're gonna flip over the cards like this, and you should have one black card and one red card. All right. If you don't have that, uh, then your setup is uh, probably wrong. So you just want to go ahead and clarify that you've done it correctly. Um, so you're gonna push over the top card. It's gonna be black. You're gonna place it down, and then you're gonna push over a red card. Now, when you push over the red card, they're gonna be able to see that it is not alternating because there should be a black card if uh, the cards really were alternating. So what you're gonna do is. Uh, Take the red card, lift it up like this with your index finger, just the just red card, pick it up, and wrist kill with your left hand, and place these down, and put the red card down. Alright, once again, you have your black card, place it down, lift up, singular, and as you move here, you're gonna wrist kill, just like that, so no one sees that red card there, alright? That is essentially really the only slight that is involved in the trick. Uh, the rest is already done for you because of your setup. Okay? So now when you show the top two cards, you're gonna push over the top two cards and say this is a practice round. I want you to just go ahead and guess which one of these cards are black. Alright? They're gonna go ahead and guess. If they pick the top card, uh, they will always be right. Alright? So let's say they pick the bottom card. You say, oh, you're wrong that time because this is actually the black card. But, I mean, it's 50-50. I can't blame you. And then you're just going to take the actual black card and place it down. Just like that. And you're going to say, with the excess card, you're just going to place it on the bottom of the deck. Alright? And then you justify again. It was a practice round. We're going to do it for real. And then we're going to take a look at your results at the very end. Alright? Um, just go ahead. Push over the top two cards. They guess which one is red. Now, because of your setup, 
these two cards are already both red. So no matter what they pick, it's going to be right because of that setup. So let's say the bottom one is red. You say, all right, cool. We're going to place that down and place the other card on the bottom. All right. And then you can go ahead, show the two black cards, just like that. All right. Push out two top two cards. They're going to think which one is black. Let's say I think this one's black. They're going to place it down, place it on the bottom. Once again, which one of these do you think is red? They're already both red. They place that down. Which one do you think is black? They're already both black. Place that down. There. Which one do you think is red? Let's say I think this one. Make sure you're placing the excess card on the bottom because if you place it on top, you're just going to screw up your uh, setup. Now you do it four times. So we've done three, three. We need the last one. Let's say I think this one is black. Place it on the bottom. The fourth time here, which is the final time. Let's say I think this one is red. Place it on the bottom. Now you're instantly set to show that all these cards have been alternating. This is uh, the moment where they realize you didn't do anything sneaky because they have been alternating since the start. If you don't show these and you say, look, let's go ahead and turn them over, they're gonna assume that you did something sneaky. So when you show this in their head, they're gonna think, oh, okay, they really have been alternating since the beginning, all right? So this setup is just so great because you can just show it just perfectly, all right? So red, black, red, black, red, black, and they're gonna see it. And you go ahead, you can even keep it like this and flip it over and show that they've been alternating. You just want this picture to stay in their head as you're flipping the cards, all right? So I usually just, if I'm performing at a table, I usually just spread them out at the table, just like this, show they've been alternating. And then I usually start with the black cards. I say, look, uh, I guess you're uh, feeling pretty lucky today because I think you have all of the black cards and you know, they're, they're pretty amazed. And you say, which only means you can have all of the red cards to be united as well. And you know, that is the end of the trick. You're gonna get great reactions from this. And I really hope you uh, go out there and perform this and uh, honestly just blow minds, all right? So thank you very much for watching, guys. Go ahead and watch this tutorial a few times. I know it's maybe a little confusing, uh, but trust me, this is a solid trick, um, which will get you great reactions, all right? So once again, please check out my channel uh, for more tricks like these, uh, the neat little tricks that you can do. Uh, you know, impromptu. Uh, so thank you very much again, uh, Hester. I appreciate it for letting me be on your channel. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed and uh, peace.